my name is Handsome Pepo and today I will be showing you an experiment on how to determine the amount of water taken up by plants. Uh, of course we do know that plants need water to make their food. This is a Gannon's photometer. Uh, it has a tube, a capillary tube and it's bent and then it has the water reservoir and then it has a, a rubber pump. So with this experiment of course it does have a base which um, helps it to be stable. Um, and the principle of this experiment is that when you have your plant fitted into the bong and then you fill this up with water, some of the water that you will be leaving in this beaker, which of the plant is using the, the water, the one you put here is gonna get drawn up and then it's gonna run along this capillary tube up to the plant. And there are two ways of finding out whether or not the plants are actually using the water way is that you could introduce an A bubble which is going to run along and as the bubble is moving you're going to discover that the water is getting used up. Now if you don't want to use a bubble you could actually use a dye. Once that is done and you're going to see two different layers of water. The pure water that you put initially and the colored water. So the water is going to move from one point to the other. Now to get the experiment done you want to make sure that air pressure does not exert upon the water, making it to run out. So you use a petroleum jelly to seal around the plant, the base of the plant, where it is fitted into the rubber bubble. In that way, air does not get into the tube, okay? And then, you want to make sure that you cut your plant. As you can see, our plant right here is in water. So you cut the plant under water. And the reason you do that is to ensure that air does not enter into the plant through the xylem. Okay, so let's get started with the experiment proper. Uh, there are a few steps in this experiment and the first thing I want to do is to cut my plant underwater. So here is my plant. I try to cut it underwater. Okay, I have my plant cut underwater. And then the next thing I want to do is to transfer this plant to the photometer. So I quickly transfer it from the water to the photometer. Now I'll fit it to the photometer here. So our plant is fitted to the photometer. Oh, that the plant is tightly fitted in such a way that air doesn't pass through um, to affect the water that will be inside the photometer. So we use a petroleum jelly. Um, you gently apply the jelly around the bottom of the plant, okay, as you can see, right into our base. Put some amount of water into this very little beaker. I'm going to add two or three drops of this, one, two, and three. Okay. I'm going to add water to the system and transfer it to the um, bigger. This is the whole setup. Okay, so as the water gets used up by the plant, the water in the beaker is going to move up the capillary tube and the water keeps moving until it gets to the plant. So after some time, the clear water you're having in the, in the odometer is going to become this color and that is an indication that this plant is actually taking up water. Okay, so we're going to leave this for uh, one hour to two hours and then come back to check okay. so this is what we want to do and then we can say that this experiment um, has been successfully done okay so we are back again to look at the result of our photometer experiment so here with me i have the photometer and i want you to look closely you will find that the colored water has gone up the capillary tube all the way from the beaker here so you can, okay, so you see, this is a quite a different color of water from what we had earlier on when the experiment was first set up. So if I leave this overnight, you're gonna find that the whole of this space is gonna be filled with this fluid. Okay. Uh, make sure you subscribe and make sure you give a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.